Welcome to the video. There's a lot on the screen. Let's get into it. Update 1.0.19 is out. It's the Christmas update, but it has a lot more than just that. It also has the new anti-cheat system to get rid of hackers and people that are duping supplies. It also gives us a bunch of great new weapon skins, and then it's going to be rolling out the Christmas update here in the coming days. The Christmas events are going to pop into your server around midnight December 24th going to midnight January 4th UTC time. One of the funner items you can find is the snowball. So you can see me throwing it right here. Seems to be pretty fun. If you click on it, it does one damage with 21 throw distance. I'm not exactly sure what that means. So if you throw it really far, it flies 21 of whatever that throw distance is. So on the screen, you can see we have some stockings, some bells, some blankets on the ground. So you have the Christmas stocking. This is you're going to find running around in loot and in loot boxes. We're going to get more into how to find these here in a bit. You have Christmas bells, Christmas pudding, which is a craftable food item. All you need is to find is the blueprint. It's actually super easy to craft. You don't need special items. Like in the previous updates for Thanksgiving, you had to specially find the new item turkey. So in the center of your screen, you can see the three blueprints now, the cake, the pudding, and then high to the left is the Christmas tree. But now where do we actually craft those? So the Christmas tree is on the structure bench, and this is the only one that really requires special items. So let's hit F for crafting. You need to go find ribbon, bells, and a Christmas tree star to be able to craft this item. Now the cake recipe, eggs, flour, and spices. So no special ingredients here. Then as we take a look at the pudding, you can see now a corn flour, egg, and sugar. So once again, no special ingredients, but let's take a look at the exact property. So first, let's get a bite of this delicious cake, and then we're going to pop into our menu, go up to inventory, and you can see on the right side, Christmas cake, physical resistance by 15% for 10 minutes. That's pretty good. And then Christmas pudding right there, heat resistance, blast resistance, 15% for 10 minutes. Both of those stacking up to 30 that is pretty good. On the left, you can see that they don't really give you a lot of food, but that 15% is going to be very good for PvP players that are looking for that. Now let's take a look at the Christmas chainsaw. That's right, there's a Christmas chainsaw. It's going to be the same as the normal gray chainsaw, but it looks a lot cooler. So these two trees look about the same. So if I chop down this tree, it comes out to 25 wood. Now let's switch over to the other chainsaw and let's see how much wood this tree gives me. 26 wood, so pretty much the same. Minor deviation, right, just due to gathering rates and the percent chances. So obviously one of the things we're gonna wanna look at is gonna be the new weapon skins. I'm gonna show you all those here in a bit. If you go to servers, you have your favorite and history tab, so every one you've ever played on or any one that you favorite is gonna be on there now. But let's go over the Christmas event. The event time has already been set in the video, so take a look at it right there if you want to, take a picture of it. All loot boxes in the map will now appear as a special Christmas gift starting at that 0000 December 24 UTC time. Higher chances of snow across the map, snowmen located beside the road randomly in the map as well. That's where you can get your snowballs from. Traders now are going to have Christmas event related items, snowballs, trees, cakes, stuff like that, recipes. Now next you have to attack Santa Claus. He's going to show up randomly around your character. You have to hit him five times with a snowball to stun him and then he will drop a gift bag including the Christmas tree blueprint, various Christmas recipes, bells, socks, ribbons, and stars. Opening future supplies is going to give you a chance for some Christmas clothes which is always fun, sleeping bags, stuff like that. Now enough of the Christmas, let's move on to some other items as well. So the switched anti-cheat system to EAC, the easy anti-cheat. Whenever you load into the game, the little blue bear should pop up, easy anti-cheat. A lot of us should be familiar with this from a lot of other games. I am hopeful that this is going to reduce the cheater content on the game, the amount of people that are duping supplies, impossible to kill, have aimbot assist, stuff like that. I really hope that the easy anti-cheat, which has proven itself in a lot of other games and I've always heard good things about it, is going to do well for this game too. So let's hope for that. So looking down, I'm screening this. What are the important notes? So placing and demolishing signs will no longer give XP. So there goes your 2000 XP for crafting 100 signs. The woodpecker and infiltrator missiles should be able to lock onto the tank and helicopter now. NPCs get stuck in terrain and constructions whenever you receive supplies. So whenever you start that NPC raid, so that's pretty good. They raise the tungsten AP shell causing low damage on constructions, which is really good. And then a lot of other minor optimizations that hopefully will make the game run a little bit smoother and I'm really excited to get done with this video so I can actually launch into the game myself and get some good playing out of this and see what is actually going on. But we're not done yet. We still have to go over weapon skins and we have to decide which of the new weapon skins is going to be the coolest weapon skin to use. So let's jump in to the new weapon skin. All these weapon skins, everything I'm showing you, all these screenshots are directly from Steam from the patch notes. So first we have the Bandit Assault Rifle, the Violet. Super cool hex type pattern. I love the contrast between the pink, the purple, and the blue lines. It looks really clean. 
Next we have the Bandit Assault Rifle, which in my mind is ironic that the skin is called the Knighthood, because if you think about knights and you think about crusading times, knights were generally considered to be very chivalrous and they had a code they had to follow, right? Well, bandits are not, so I think that was a little funny play on words. I don't know if they meant that, but I'm getting Call of Duty like weapon skin, gold skin vibes from this one, and I really like the look of this one. I don't make a lot of bandits, but if I do and I have this skin, I will be using it. So now we have the Dark Warrior Assault Rifle, two separate ones here. The Nexus is the one on top, giving me Tron vibes, that type of vibe, blue lines, a little bit futuristic in design. And then below it, you have the Dark Warrior Assault Rifle, the Pioneer. This one's giving me satisfactory vibes, that orange. Not the biggest fan of this one, but it's different. They're keeping it updated. They have two out for this weapon now, which is really nice. Now we're on to our third Dark Warrior Assault Rifle, the chromatic skin. So this one's kind of cool. It looks like someone just kind of painted it over. It looks like it's an at-home job with a can of spray paint. Maybe maybe some line work as well with some masking tape. I like it. It gives you a very much an at-home feel for this weapon, I think. And then below that, we have the Cupid rifle, the Golden Eagle. So this one, very much that prestiged gold weapon, Call of Duty, whichever one of the you know 75 different Call of Duties, this is what that feel like is to me. I'm also super happy to see a Cupid Rifle skin. The Cupid Rifle is generally what I main, especially once I unlock it and until I get up to the Annihilator, the Cupid Rifle is my go-to, so hopefully I can get one of these skins by luck of the draw. Now the Ronin Semi-Auto Rifle, the Digital Ninja. Very much Tron vibes. I like this one. I like how it's outlined. It also gives me a little bit of like spooky type neon green, scary Halloween vibes. But it's cool. It's different. It's better than just the normal skin for sure. And then below it, the Hot Rod Infiltrator Missile Launcher. Pretty stereotypical for something I would expect for what this weapon is. I know I'm saying I kind of like every single one, but at this moment, I really don't hate any of them. Of course, any design is better than just the normal design that everybody has, so at least now you could distinguish yourself a little bit more. I would say with something like the Ronin, that Digital Ninja, I'm curious if it's going to make players easier to be seen while playing PvP. So that is something I'm curious about, and I'm going to have to watch out for that as I'm playing. Okay, so now we're on to the two SMGs. So first we had the Whisperer SMG, the Dreamland paint job. Very much a graffiti feel to this one, or maybe like a sticker feel, like just putting a bunch of sticker on your weapons. Seems pretty cool, it's different. The Troop SMG, the Snow Leopard, pretty simplistic. Not much to talk about here, you can see it on the bottom of the screen. The Ravager LMG looks very much like another one we've seen, Digital Ninja, exact same name, exact same style. Now my most favorite one, the Striker Auto Shotgun, the Kraken. This one looks amazing. I love it. I love the detail on it. I love how it's kind of like telling a story almost. You can see the water's rushing, it's moving, which makes a lot of sense being that this is the most dangerous weapon in the game and the Kraken is widely considered possibly the most dangerous sea creature if it should be real. On to our last two weapons, the Vanguard Pistol, the Siren up top. Not much to talk about here. It's a decent design. I think it's cool. I don't really use the Vanguard, so I don't know if I'll ever actually use this other than to just make it once. And then below it, the Golden Eagle. So we've already seen a Golden Eagle design, but this one's now on the Python. And the last one, the Steel Dagger. You can now have it iridescent. I think this is actually kind of nice. I mean, I get it. It's just a tool. It's not really a weapon. But you know what? I like the direction the developers are trending with this one right here. All right, guys, and that's what I think are all the major details of update 1.0.19. So a pretty cool update. I'm looking forward to the Christmas event. I'm looking forward to writing bases that are covered in Christmas trees. I think it's going to be fun. And then those weapon skins as well. As you unlock those weapon skins, guys, go to my Discord. It's on my YouTube homepage. And drop some pictures of your new weapon skins in the Discord chat that we have for the front picture. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and then stay updated on our content as we release more content for the front. And then drop us a comment on this video, letting me know what you want to see next from Off Duty Gaming.